All right, so today we are demonstrating how to use this product, and this product is called Aqua Soap. It is a, 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 an absorber that helps keep water in the soil, and we can apply it in two different ways uh, to keep moisture in the soil. We can apply it as a grain in the grain form, while we add as fertilizer on the sides of the planting hole. But today we want to use a method that can help make plants or seedlings survive better when there is less moisture in the soil and by doing this we make a gel by where we have this drum with about 108 liters of water and then we add the, 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 the granular powder and stir until it becomes until it becomes a gel and that gel is what we are going to use around the planting holes to keep the moisture okay so what happens this gel uh, this uh, this polymer can leave can stay in the soil for about four to five years absorbing water and releasing it whenever it rains or whenever irrigation is done so it helps your plants to survive more and reduces your irrigation frequency and now we are demonstrating this method as an alternative okay we are also going to add other things because you can also add fertilizer you can add pesticides and today we are going to add uh, a microbial uh, organism called trichoderma which helps uh, prevent diseases around the roots of the plants okay most fungal diseases we are going to add it in the mix and hopefully it's going to survive around the root zone and also keep diseases away uh, you can add uh, other pesticides but of course now that i'm using a, a living organism i cannot use a, a chemical that will kill the living organism so you have to know one it's very important to know that if you can look here already my water is becoming a gel it is black because i've added the humic uh, or this humor humic power i've added a bit of it and i'm going to keep adding because i want also to have the good elements of the humic acid in in the in the root zone because it's also a soil conditioner so i'm going to mix two things three things of course i have my aqua soap which is the super absorbent polymer i have the humic uh, acid and i have my my trichoderm so uh, let me open one and then add it in the drum as he continues stirring so that it can mix it can mix together in the mixture okay so that is my trichoderma i'm actually going to add the two packets because i will plant using the whole mixture today and then i'm going to continue adding i'm going to continue adding the aqua soap until it thickens but at some point i'm also going to add more of the humic acid okay so you can see he's stirring very well so you you can if you look carefully although we are going to stop stirring at some point and you're going to see how it turns the small grains are swelling and becoming big why because they have already absorbed water that was in this drum so we continue we continue adding more and stirring becoming like uji as we as we continue because uh, the mixture is getting harder a bit harder and harder then i add my humic acid so that now it's a continuous it's a homogeneous mixture of uh, the three items the aqua soap which is a super absorbent polymer and the humic acid which is this one i just added a little bit and then the water turned black so maybe you can increase the speed of stirring increase the speed so that it all mixes together okay so now our product is ready for application uh, in the planting holes you can see it is it has gelled uh, the color right now is black and why it's black is because of the humic acid remember we have added three things we have added the absorber which is now the, the the particles you are seeing that have gelled number two 
we have added the trichoderma. That is a good microorganism that helps keep diseases away or kills the bad, uh, the disease causing organisms in the plants like root rot and so on. And number three, we have added humic acid, which is a further soil conditioner. If we wanted to add fertilizer, we could add. But now this product already has uh, elements of fertilizer, both the, the humic acid and the aqua soap. The, the, the super absorbent polymer also has uh, nutrients. So I'm not going to add more fertilizer. If we are, need to add later, we can add. But if you want to add, you can always add, uh, or even pesticides. If you have, for example, uh, things like uh, uh, insects that will eat your plants, you can add other kind of uh, uh, pesticides that will kill the insects. So now uh, we are going to use a bucket to to get it uh, uh, some of the material and then go to to the planting uh, part of the yes so he has a bucket full of the of the microbes and uh, yeah so now we go to the planting hole which is uh, we already have a ready seedling here and uh, I'm going to do the planting myself so that I can demonstrate and uh, yes let's see how it's done so here i have my this is an avocado seedling okay this is an avocado seedling uh, maybe we can uh, first of all i can demonstrate how to how to do the planting itself uh, one the first thing you have to do is to size the hole you see if i plant at that point it's too deep Meaning that if it rains, water is going to flood on this, uh, in, this air, in this whole area. And avocados are quite sensitive to flooding. So we must be careful that we are able to adjust the size of the hole before we even remove the seedling from the, from the uh, paper that is holding the soil. So I do what I do, I return some of the soil and remove the weeds, okay? There was already manure added in this hole so i want to make sure that when i plant this part the the, the where the, the the stem touches the the base of the plant is not going to be below the soil line and i think that is a good level okay i think this is a good level so i'm going to to use this as my level so that uh, by the time i put back the soil or maybe i can add a bit more to raise it a bit because i don't want to risk any kind of uh, flooding inside the hole actually this is my level now because i want it to be just about the same uh, level with the soil now what i'm going to do is to make sure that i remove this paper without tearing it what we did first we dipped the the paper in a in a in a in a, in a container full of water until it bubbles so you make sure that there is enough already moisture enough water that is being carried by by this plug the root plug so, and uh, that also ensures that it's going to be easy to remove the paper without disturbing the soil. Because one of the dangers of uh, disturbing this soil is that you are likely to, to kill this, this plant, especially when there's not enough rain. So most important, we must make sure that this plug is not disturbed. And the best way of doing it is making sure that this paper comes out intact. And you can also use it, you can recycle it, plant, use it to plant more plants. So because it's wet, there's already enough moisture, it's easy to mold it, yeah? To mold that soil so as to loosen the paper. It will be very easy to remove the paper once we, we mold. And it's uh, already wet, so I'm molding, molding it together to make sure that it doesn't come out, it doesn't break apart. And then what I do, I use my two fingers and place the, the, the base of the plant in between my, my, my fingers and turn it upside down. And then just shake it a bit slowly you see very easy the paper is off and the roots are visible very intact nothing is broken and then i can place it very carefully there that way so now because this this gel swells you can see it was a very a very few grains now it has swollen so if you place it under under the plug it's going to lift the plug once uh, it rains or once the moisture accumulates so it's very important that you don't place this gel below the plant okay 
that's why I placed my my plan my plug without pressing the gel. And then now I come and pour my gel around because that's where most it's most important. I'm going to, I want moisture around my roots. Whenever it rains or wherever I irrigate, I want this this gel to keep moisture. Okay? That is why I'm applying it around around the root zone. And I think that is enough. So what next? What next is now to bring the soil and cover. You, sh you must never leave the gel exposed to sunlight because it is easily going to get degraded by what we call UV light from the sun. So I can pull this soil around and bury my seed leaves. Okay? I can bring more soil. And you see, now my, my plant is well covered. Uh, very well covered and there is no danger of flooding, flooding because my plug is a bit raised so what we will do later is just maybe I can have this jembe so that I can pull the, the soil which is a bit far bring it closer this way that way so no water can stand around here, even if it, it rains how much. And uh, today is the 14th of August, 2021. We are going to monitor this plant. So my next video, I will show you how the plant is performing. And I will show you, I will tell you how much rain has rained and how much water we have put in the, in the uh, into this hole, so that we understand how long we can stay without adding more water and how our absorber is helping keep this plant alive. Thank you.